Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Today I begin the message of this year. Leo ninaanzia ujumbe wa mwaka huu. Amen. Amen. And I bring to you the word that God put in my heart. Na ninawaletea neno ambalo Mungu aliweka kwa moyo wangu mwaka huu. Amen. Amen. And uh, the word is this year 2023. Na neno la mwaka huu wa 23 wa 2023 mwaka wa 2023 na ni mwaka wa kutimiziwa is the year of fulfillment ni mwaka wa kutimiziwa haleluya amen Are there people who are joyful to the Lord this morning? Je, kuna watu wana furaha katika nyumba ya Mungu? Is the year fulfillment of God's word. Ni neno la kutimiziwa neno la Mungu. Haleluya. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. And I'll speak briefly as the Lord will lead me. Na nitanena kwa kifupi kama jinsi Mungu atanielekeza. And the word we are reading. Na neno ambalo tunalisoma. That is for this year. Abalo ni la mwaka huu. Is Ezekiel 12:28. Ni Ezekiel 12:28. I will say I'll read in in revised standard version. Atasoma kwa hiyo tafsiri ya Biblia. Therefore say to them, that says the Lord God, none of my words will be delayed any longer. But the word which I will speak will be performed, says the Lord. In New King James says therefore say to them that says the Lord none of my words will be postponed anymore Basi wabie Bwana Mungu asema hivi maneno yangu hayata hata hata kawirishwa tena hata moja But the word which I speak will be done says the Lord Bali neno nitakalonena litatimizwa asema Bwana I come to proclaim this year Nimekuja kutangaza mwaka huu If there is anyone who can dare believe Kama kuna yote anaweza jaribu kuamini It is a year God is coming to fulfill Huu ni mwaka ambao Mungu anakuja kutimiza His promise to you Ile ahadi yake kwa Hallelujah Amen The word he has spoke Ile neno ambalo amenena Maybe it is stayed many years hata kama lilikabia miaka mingi waiting on God labda uko umegoja Mungu I proclaim to you this year Ninakutangazia ya kwamba huu God is coming to fulfill his word Mungu anakuja kutimiza neno lake The Lord spoke to you Kila Mungu alikunenea He's coming to perform it Ita, atakuja kutenda He's coming to do it Anakuja kufanya Hallelujah Hallelujah If you can believe you can say amen Kama unaweza amini unaweza sema amen He says he shall not postpone any longer Anasema yeye hata kawirisha tena Sometimes Sometimes God want to come and do something. Wakati mwingine Mungu hutaka kuja na kufanya ajabu. Hallelujah. Amen. But time he finds you are not ready. Lakini wakati mwingine tunapata ya kwamba hayuko tayari. The children of Israel. Wana wa Israeli. God has said 400 years you been a strange land. Mungu alikuwa amewaambia kwamba miaka 400 mmekuwa katika nchi ya ugeni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But after 400 years. Lakini baada ya miaka 400. You shall move from the strange land. Mtatoka katika nchi ya ugeni. And you go back to your land. Na mtarejea katika nchi ya Mungu. I promised your father Abraham. Katika nchi ambayo nilimwahidi baba yangu Abraham. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But they never moved. Labari hawakutoka. Because at the 400 years. Kwa sababu baada ya miaka 400. Glory to God. Amen. They were not yet ready. Hawakuwa tayari. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And through 430 years. Hadi miaka ilipotimia 400 years. When they began to cry to God. Na baba yangu anasema wakamlilia Mungu. This cry is not the cry of just pain. Na hii kilio sio kilio chuo cha uchungu. Was crying to God for deliverance. Bali walikuwa wanamlilia Mungu kwa ukobozi. Because of what they are being going through because of their taskmasters. Kwa ajili ya vile walikuwa kila walikuwa wanapitia kupitia wale ambao walikuwa wanawatesa. Hallelujah. Amen. And God is saying. Na Mungu anasema. In Ezekiel 12:27 Ezekiel is 12:27. The vision that we see will be for many days to come. Anasema ya kwamba ile maono huwa tunaona ni ya ni ya siku nyingi zinazokuja. But the word which I but God is saying Lakini Mungu anasema that we say that the prophecies are of time to come. Na ya kwamba tunasema unabii ni wa siku zijazo. Are you saying? Lakini anasema now wa sasa it shall not be postponed any longer. Haita wa haita kawirishwa tena. Hallelujah. Amen. He is coming to fulfill. Yeye yeah, anakuja kutimiza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What he has spoken to his people. Kile abacho amenenea watu wake. Speak to a person who may have waited to, of, for the Lord to perform the word he spoke. 
na za kuwa ninanenea Mungu ape, mtu ambaye anagojea Mungu amtimizie kile ambacho alinena. God spoke to your life. Lile neno alikunenea katika maisha. Ama maono alikuonyesha. Have you been waiting and saying God when shall it be? Umekukigoja na kuuliza Mungu itakuwa lini? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Then be about your ministry. Inaweza kuwa ni huduma yako. You waited until you felt discouraged. Umegoja na hadi umesikia umeshikata tamaa. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Maybe you asking when will God come and perform it? Labda umekuuliza Mungu atakuja lini na aweze kutenda. I have come to tell you this year. Lakini nimekuja kukwambia kwamba Mungu The Lord will watch over his word to perform it. Mungu ataweza kuliangalia neno lake ili alitimize. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. God. Mungu does not forget. Huwa hasahau. Hallelujah. Amen. And God has not forgotten you. Na Mungu hajakusahau. Neither has he forgotten the promise he made for you. Wala hajasahau ile ahadi ambayo alikuahidi. It has not matter how long it has taken. Haijalishi umegojea kwa muda upi. What matters is that God spoke. Kila kinajalisha ni kuwa Mungu alinena. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When the word of God is rare. Wakati Mungu neno la Mungu liko pale. What I meaning is we can have the word of God in the Bible but you don't have the rema word, the prophetic word of God. Tunaweza kuwa na maanisha kwa tunaweza kuwa na neno la Mungu katika Biblia lakini hatuna well, neno lenye uzima la Mungu. Rare. Neno la uzima wakati alipatikani. It can be very dangerous for people. Inaweza kuwa hatari sana kwa watu. Like in the days of Eli. Kama wakati wa Eli. The Bible says the word of God was rare. It was not there. Biblia inasema ya kwamba neno la Mungu alikuwa pale alikuwa nimepatikana. So the children of Israel were oppressed by their enemies. Na kwa hivyo waisraeli wakanyanyaswa sana na maadui zao. But it was rare because they were walking not walking the ways of God. Ilikuwa halipatikani kwa sababu hawakuwa wanatembea katika njia za Mungu. The priesthood was defiled. The priesthood was defiled. Ukuhani uliwekwa uchafu. The sons of Eli were defiling the temple every day. Wana wa Eli walichafua hekalu kila siku. Hallelujah. Amen. But one day, lakini siku moja, God sent a prophet. Mungu akamtumia nabii. Hallelujah. Amen. And he said, I will judge your house. Na akasema nitaweza kuhukumu nyumba yako. The Lord began to come back again. Na neno la Mungu likaanza kurudi and tena. And when Samuel was born and brought to the temple. Na Isaya Samuel alipozaliwa na kuletwa katika hekalu. God spoke again through Samuel. Mungu akanena tena kupitia Samuel. And his word came to pass. Na neno lake likaja kutimia. He the priesthood. Akageuza ule ukuhani. And began a righteous priesthood. Na akaanza ukuhani mwingine ambao mtakatifu. Na akaosha ile hekalu. I proclaim that God is purging the church. Na katagaza ya kwamba Mungu anaosha kanisa. Hallelujah. Amen. He is purging the priesthood. Mungu anaosha ukuhani. Glory to God. Amen. Because his word is getting fulfilled. Kwa sababu neno lako leka linatimizwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. He has spoken. Amenena. The Bible says his word shall not return. Na na Biblia inasema ya kwamba neno lake halitamrudia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaiah 45:23. Isaia 45:22 Anasema ya kwamba nimeapa nami mwenyewe. Na Mungu akisema nimeapa. He doesn't need to swear for us to know it is true. Hapai hata kuapa ili tujue ya kwamba ni ukweli. Whatever God says is truth. Kwa sababu chochote Mungu asemacho ni ukweli. He does it does in truth. Na chochote atendacho anatenda kwa kweli. Hakuna udaganyifu kwa Mungu. When he comes to say I have sworn. Lakini kija anasema ya kwamba nimeapa. He is trying to show the gravity of the issue. Anaonyesha ule uzito wa hiyo jambo. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is ever showing how how serious the matter is. Anaonyesha vile anamaanisha katika hilo jambo. He says I've sworn to myself. Anasema mimi nimejia pia. And the word is gone out of my mouth. Na neno lishatoka kwa kinywa changu. In righteousness. Katika utakatifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is just. Mungu ni mwenye haki. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says the word is gone out of my mouth in righteousness. Amesema ya kwamba neno lishatoka kwa kinywa changu kwa utakatifu. And it shall not return. Na hatitarudi. And what's the word he has spoken to us? Na nilipi neno habari ametunenea? That is what shall no longer delay. Aya kwamba hata wakawirisha neno lake tena. Anakuja kulitimiza. Oh somebody can dare believe amen. Mtu anaweza amini na aseme amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because in Isaiah 46 verse 11b says. Na katika Isaiah 46 mstari wa 11 anasema. I have spoken it. Amesha nena. I also bring it to pass. Na nitakuja kulitimiza. I have Posted, 
I've purposed it. I will also do it. Listen to what you say. I have spoken. I will make it good. I have not only spoken. I have purposed. Oh, hallelujah. He not speak without purposing to do it. I have purposed to do it. I have plans how to do it. I have already accomplished the things that I need to do. I have already done. I have already done. I have already done. Hallelujah. Glory to God. He says, I will also do it. God is not a man that may lie. God is not a man that may lie. He is not a son of a man that may change his mind. He is not a man that may change his mind. He is not a man that may change his mind. Has he said it? He has said it. Shall he not do it? He has said it. Has he spoken? He has said it. Has he spoken? Jesse ameongea. Shall it not make it good? Jesse ataweza kufanya liwe nzuri. Last year God gave us a word. Na mwaka uliopita Mungu akatupatia neno. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Last year he gave us a word. Alitupatia neno mwaka uliopita. And that was the year of recovering all. Na akasema huu ni mwaka wa kurejesha wa kila kitu. I don't know whether you received it. Sijui kama wewe ulipokea. I received it. Na mimi nilipokea. But many can witness with me that they enjoy that here because God had begun to restore or restore them wagi wagi wanaza kuwa shahidi pamoja nami kwa sababu we ulifurahia na Mungu aliwarejeshea niko na ushuhuda katika maisha yangu na maisha ya familia yangu niliona Mungu akirejesha mambo na nikaona Mungu akirejesha watu wabao walikuwa wameangamizwa na adui walikuwa wamerudi nyuma niliona Mungu akire jesha doa ambazo zilikuwa zimefujika na zinafanya kazi haleluya niliona Mungu akirejesha hali ya fedha niliona akirejesha kila aina ya kibali niko na nimejawa na ushuhuda yule yule Mungu ambaye alitimiza neno la mwaka uliopita anasema siku ya leo ninakuja kutimiza kila neno ambalo limeneno katika maisha You know what I did when I had that what God wanted to do? I went to my library. I went through my notebooks over the years. I've not finished yet. But I'm taking every word God has spoken to me over the years. And I'm writing it back again. And I'm writing telling God this year you said you are fulfilling your words. Na naandika nikimwambia Mungu mwaka huu umesema ya kwamba unalitimiza neno lako. I'm already teaching you how to receive the word. Wanawafunza jinsi ya kulipokea neno. Bema imani bila matendo imekufa. Kama Mungu chochote Mungu atenacho lifanyie kitu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The word of God is forever set on in heaven. Neno la Mungu kila wakati limetosheshwa huko biguni. Katika Zaburi 119. Hallelujah. Forever O Lord says thy word is set on in heaven. Mirela na mirela O Mungu unasema ya kwamba neno lako limeshawekwa huko biguni. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now I want you to listen carefully. Nataka usikize kwa makini sana. As we have received the word. Tunapopokea neno. But I want to say briefly about the word. Na nataka kusema kwa ufupi kuhusu neno. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. See, brethren, God works in times and seasons. Mungu huwa anafanya kazi katika nyakati na misimu. There's what already done. He spoke and it was done. Kuna alena aliteleogea neno na nilemetendeka. I think she spoke. Lakini wakati anaponena. That are still being accomplished. Kuna maneno kuna vitu alinena na bado yanatimizwa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Is you to understand things that are already done for you to take. Ni vyema ukaelewa mambo ambayo yamenenwa ama yametendwa ili wewe uweze kupokea. They are already fulfilled. Yashatimizwa. Like healing is already released for you. Ka, kama uponyaji umeachiliwa kwako. Is you to take. Niwewe tu poke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says his presence is with you. He says, "Lord, I am with you always." Na nasema ya kwamba uwepo wako uko pamoja nawe, niko pamoja nawe kila wakati. It's already done. When you receive Christ, 
God is in you. Unapopokea Kristo Mungu yuko ndani yako kila wakati. Amen. Amen. But there are things you spoke. Lakini kuna mambo huwa ananena. To be done in particular times. Ambao yanapaa kutendwa wakati fulani. Your parents in times and seasons. Huwa anafanya kazi katika misimu na wakati. Even in your life there are times and seasons. Hata katika maisha yako kuna wakati na misimu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And are, his word also is fulfilled in times and seasons. Na pia neno lake huwa linatimizwa katika wakati na misimu There are some words that were spoken. Kuna maneno ambayo yalinenwa. Haleluya. Kuhusu maisha yako. Na Mungu alinena. Bali hakutimiza. Lakini yanatimizwa wakati Mungu ameweka. Haleluya. Na mwaka huu Mungu anatimiza neno lake. Katika wakati ufao. Haleluya. Haleluya. There is a season and a time to every purpose under heaven. Hallelujah. Amen. That's what it says. Hivyo ndivyo anasema Genesis 8:22. Katika mwanzo 8:22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest, corn and heat, the summer and winter, the day and night shall not cease. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In other words, seasons of planting, seasons of harvest. Katika maneno mengine misimu ya kupanda, misimu ya kuvuna. There will be times kutakuwa na wakati and seasons. na misimu. I don't know what season you are last year in. Sijui sijui ulikuwa katika msimu gani mwaka uliopita. I don't uliopita. know what you went through last year. Sijui nini ulipitia mwaka uliopita. I don't know you thought, you thought God is no longer working for you. Sijui nini nini hicho ulipitia ukaona ya kwamba Mungu hafanyi kazi kwako. I don't know kwa what you wanted to give up last year. Sijui nini nini hicho ulikuwa unataka kukata tamaa kwacho. Because the word of the Lord to be fulfilled it was not. Ugwa sababu ligoja neno la Mungu likatimizwa bali halikutimizwa. But you've been faithful. Lakini umekuwa mwaminifu. Have you been feeling maybe discouraged? Lakini wewe umekuwa ukisikia ni kama umeishiwa na nguvu. Have you lost strength? Ama unasikia ni kama huna nguvu. You've been saying God when shall it be? Na unauliza Mungu itakuwa lini? I've waited all this time. Gotia huu muda wote. Haleluya. Glory to God. Utukufu Have you ever given a prophetic word I don't know when it shall happen. Je, umewahi patiwa neno la kinabina hujujui litakataka namna gani? Mwaka unakuja unapita. God did the man of God lie? Na unauliza je Mungu mtumishi wako alida gani? Are you hand it yourself from God? Ama nilisikia kwa kutoka kwa Mungu. Did I hear right? Je, nilisikia vizuri? Haleluya. Haleluya. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Tries to come and tell you maybe na ibilisi huana kuja kujaribu kukuambia labda labda Mungu hakuongea labda ni wewe ulifikiria hivyo haleluya haleluya but i've come to tell you lakini nimekuja kukuambia the time of his fulfillment wakati wa kutimizwa umefika in jesus name katika jina la Yesu haleluya amen glory to god tukufu kwa Mungu as what to his people has time and season of fulfillment Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I've come to say it is your season. Kwa hivyo nimekuja kusema kuwaambia ni msimu wako. I've come to say it is your time. Nimekuja kuambia ni wakati wako. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God will do it as he promised. Mungu atatenda kadri alivyoahidi. Uh, Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He said he has spoken and shall not return to him. Amesema ameshanena na halitamrudia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us turn our Bibles to Luke Luke 1. Wacha tugeuke katika Biblia zetu katika Luka 1 from verse 5 kutoka mstari so wa tatu. Let me understand what God is doing this season. Ili tukaweza kuelewa kila Mungu anasitenda katika huu msimu. There was the day that God says that let me read it and then we we are going to continue. Was it there was in the days of Herod the king of Judea a certain priest named Zechariah of the course of Abia and his wife was of the daughters of Aaron and her name was Elizabeth. And they were both I want you to do underline this. They were both righteous before God. Na wote walikuwa watakatifu mbele ya Mungu. Know the commandments. Wakitabea katika kila amri. And ordinances of the Lord blameless. Na maagizo ya Mungu bila mawa. Hallelujah. Amen. Are you seeing that? They were serving God. Walikuwa namtumikia Mungu. They were priests. Walikuwa kuhani. The Bible says we are kings and priests. Biblia inasema sisi ni wafalme na kuhani. Tukimtumikia Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They were from the priesthood. Priest, I mean of Aaron. Walikuwa wametoka katika ukuhani wa Aaron. Aaron. Amen. Amen. But the Bible declares they were righteous. Na Biblia inasema walikuwa watakatifu. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Asabia jirani yako mimi ndiye mtakatifu wa Mungu katika Kristo Yesu. When you got born again 
you are declared righteous wakati ulipookoka uliathagaswa wewe ni mtakatifu not by works sio kwa matendo haleluya haleluya but by the grace of god bali ni kwa neema yake mungu haleluya haleluya the they were righteous before god biblia ina, inasema ya kwamba walikuwa takatifu mbele za mungu the second thing is they were walking biblia pili ni kwamba walikuwa wanatembea know the commandments and ordinances of the lord wakifuata waki amri zote na maagizo yote ya mungu god has called us mungu ametuita to not only walk in righteousness sio tu tutembee katika utakatifu but walking obedience bali tuwe katika hali ya kutii of his word katika neno lake when you are born again ulipookoka we are declared righteous ulitagazwa wewe ni mtakatifu but then we need to walk in obedience lakini sasa unafaa kutembea katika utiifu hallelujah Hallelujah. In love with one another. Ukimpenda mwenzako. Anasema. A new commandment I give you. Amri mpya nawapatia. Love one another as I have loved you. Penda mwingine kama jinsi ninavyokupenda. And he says if you can fulfill the commandment of love. Na anasema kwamba kama unatazatimiza amri ya upendo. You have fulfilled all commandments. Ushatimiza amri zote. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. If you can fulfill the commandment of love. Kama unazatimiza amri ya upendo. Then you can walk blameless. Pia unaweza bea bila uh, mawa and that's where many people na hapo I mean, that's where a challenge has been in the church na hapo ndipo changamoto imekuwa katika kanisa siku ya leo jesus loved the church yesu alilipenda kanisa until he gave himself hadi akajipeana mwenyewe he submitted akanyenyekea left his throne and his glory akaacha enzi yake na utukufu and gave himself to die na akajipeana afe selfless love we upendo ambao haukuwa wa kujipenda hallelujah what the church needs this hiyo ndio kanisa inahitaji he says obey my commandment anasema ati amri zangu if you obey my commandment na ukizitia amri zangu shall you be my disciple utakumtakuwa wafuasi wangu that commandment hilo amri one another as i have loved na hilo amri ni kupendana kama jinsi ninavyowapenda. Haleluya. Amen. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. There's a teaching I taught about love. Ni mafunzo nilifunzwa kuhusu upendo. You can always get it from the YouTube. Amen. Unaweza pata katika Let's continue. But the Bible says they had no child. Na Biblia inasema ya kwa bali hawakuwa na watoto. They loved God. Walikuwa wanampenda Mungu. They served God fervently. Walitumikia Mungu kwa bidii sana. Brethren Brethren, wapendwa, we can serve God. Tunaweza kumtumikia Mungu not because of what he has given us. Sio kwa kile ambacho ametupea, but who he is to us. Lakini ni kwa ajili aliyeye ni nani kwetu. Sometimes when there is delay, wakati mwingine ambapo kuna kucherewesha, we get this courage in serving God. Huwa tunaishiwa na nguvu ya kumtumikia Mungu. I've been praying I've not seen God come. Nimeomba sijaona Mungu akija. I'll not know no cap anymore. Hata sitaomba tena. I'll not go to church. Sitaenda kanisani. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. These people never grew this courage. Hao watu hawakukata tamaa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. They went through shame of barrenness. Walipitia aibu ya utasa. Maybe people saying these people serve God and they have no children. Labda watu walikuwa nasema mama watu wanamtumikia Mungu na lakini hawana watoto. I don't know what shame you've gone through while si, serving God. Situ umepitia aibu gani ukimtumikia Mungu? Lakini nimekuja kukutia nguvu. You can serve God. Unaweza mtumikia Mungu. You can still walk in righteousness. Unaweza tembea pia kwa utakatifu. Don't be part from the of the Lord. Usitoke katika jia zake Mungu. Because of what you are going through. Kwa sababu ya yale ambacho wewe unapitia. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be faithful. Kuwa mwaminifu. For he who calls you is faithful. Kwa kuwa yeye amekuita amekuita ni mwaminifu. Don't love God for when he is doing good. Mungu Don't love God only when he is giving you something. Usipende Mungu wakati anavotenda mema ama anafanya kitu. Wakati maisha yako yako sawa. You are ready to serve God. Uko tayari kumtumikia Mungu. But when there is a small challenge. Lakini wakati kuna changamoto kidogo. Unasema nimekata tena. No. Ah, mapana. Serve God. Tumikia Mungu. Even if you are going through shame. Hata kama unapitia aibu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You are God will vindicate you from shame. Mungu atakutoa kwa hiyo aibu. There is a day. Kuna siku. God will show himself mighty. Mungu atajionyesha kwa ukuu sana. Ka, kwa niaba yako. The Bible says a and two and four, uh, the whole earth looking for a one man he can show himself mighty. Na Biblia inasema ya kwamba anatembea duniani kwake akisagalia mtu mmoja ambaye anaweza jionyesha ya kwake yeye ni mkuu. A righteous man. Mtu mtakatifu. Tell your neighbor do not depart from your righteousness. Uabia jirani yako usiondoke kwa utakatifu wako. Tell your neighbor do not depart from where God has positioned you. Abia jirani yako usitoke mahali Mungu amekuweka. Do not depart from serving God. Uabia jirani yako usiondoke katika 
kahali ya kutumikia Mungu. Haijalishi unapitia nini katika maisha. Hallelujah. 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 People may say where is her God? Mwanao anaweza uliza Mungu wake yuko wapi? I see him troubled, troubled every time. Unaona tu akisumbuka kila wakati. Tell your neighbor God is coming to fulfill his word. Apia jirani yako Mungu anakuja kulitimiza neno lake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Tukufu kwa Mungu. That's why The prophet says do not love at me my enemy. Na ndio sababu nabii alisema msinicheke adui zangu. Even if I sit in darkness my right is coming. Hata kama nimeketi kwa giza mwanga wangu unakuta. Hata nikianguka hapo nitainuka. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Falling doesn't mean sin. Kuanguka hakumaanishi dhambi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You may go down financially. Unaweza anguka kifedha. You may go down family wise. Unaweza anguka kifamilia. You may go down in very situations. Unaweza anguka katika hali yoyote. That doesn't mean that why you leave. Lakini haimaanishi ya kwamba utaka tu hapo. There is a lifting up. Bali kuna kuinuliwa. That's why he said in the book of Job. Na ndio amesema katika kitabu cha Yobu. Tell, tell him the one who is cast down there is a lifting up. Abia yule ambaye ako chini kuna kuinuliwa. Are you cast down last year? Je, mwaka uliopita ulisikia umesema Kuna kuinuliwa huu mwaka katika jina la Yesu. Haleluya. Utukufu kwa Mungu. Biblia inasema ya kwamba Elizabeth alikuwa tasa. Na kufanya mambo ya kuwa mabaya sana. Walikuwa wameeda sana kwa umri. Walikuwa wamevuka umri wa kupata watoto. Haleluya. But they never gave up. Lakini hawakukata tamaa. They said one thing we will do. Walisema sijambo moja tutakaroni fanya. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We'll serve the Lord faithfully. Tutamtumikia Mungu kwa uaminifu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I may not have children. Naweza kuwa sina watoto. But one thing I'll do. Lakini sijambo nitakarofanya. I'll still continue serving the Lord. Nitaendelea tu kumtumikia Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Utukufu kwa Mungu. And the Bible says one day. Na Biblia inasema siku moja. One day, say one day. Sema siku moja. In this year there will be a one day. Katika mwaka kutakuwa na siku moja. That will change the whole of your life. Ambao itabadilisha maisha yako yote. Not only your life but the destiny of many people around you. Lakini sio tu maisha yako la baadhi ya watu wote wanakuzingira. That will cause the your neighbors to rejoice with you. Kuna siku moja au mwaka ambao itafanya majira yako yafurahie kwa jina lako. Hallelujah. Siku hiyo moja tu. When he is a was still in a serving God faithfully the temple. Wakati tu nilikuwa katika hali ya kumtumikia Mungu wa uaminifu katika hekalu. Remember God is coming to meet you not outside but in his house. Abia jirani yako Mungu hakuji kukutafuta katika huko nje bali na katika nyumba yako. Remember in the place of your serving God is coming to meet you. Katika mahali pa kumtumikia Mungu Mungu anakuja kutembelea. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says it came to pass. Abia inasema ikatimia. Well, he has executed the priest office before God in the order of his course. That is Luke 1:8. Uh, Luka 1:8. Amen. Amen. As he was in the business of serving God. Alipokuwa katika biashara ya kumtumikia Mungu kwa uaminifu siku moja. It came to pass. Ikaja kutimia. Kukatokea malaika. Amen. And him an angel of the Lord standing at the right side of the altar of incense. Na malaika wa Mungu akisimama kwa upande wa kulia wa mahali patakatifu. God is sending an angel to you. Huu mwaka Mungu anakutumia malaika. Oh Amen. somebody I hope I, 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 I the way I'm feeling excited oh hallelujah this year wa mwaka huu I'm waiting for the angel of the Lord. Ninakotia malaika wa Mungu. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hata yeye will not miss me. Abia jana yako hutanikosa. Because I trust God. Kwa sababu ninamtumainia Mungu. Serve him faithfully. Kwa kumtumikia kwa uaminifu. Because the angel will not meet you elsewhere. Kwa sababu malaika hata kupata malipo mengine popote. He will meet you at the place of serving God. Hata kupata katika hali mahali pa kutumikia Mungu. The angel could have gone to Zechariah's house. Malaika angemtembelea katika nyumba yake. He could have gone to because They used to serve in 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 seasons. They they had what you call a shift. Walikuwa wana agagochea hadi ampata kwa nyumba yako kwa sababu walikuwa wanatumika wakibadilishana. They would have gone when they are eating supper with with with, with his wife. Amagampata wakati wakikula chakula cha jioni na bibi yake. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But 
the angel came Lakini malaika alikuja and met Zechariah at the place of service na akamkuta Zechariah mahali pa utumishi Hayo ni ba be careful Abagia biana yako kuwa mwangalifu God faith free Na mtumikie Mungu kwa uaminifu Hallelujah Hallelujah God will not meet you on the street he will meet you this year at the place of service Mungu atakupatana na wewe kwa barabara lakini atakukutana na wewe katika mahali pa utumishi The angel would have waited for Zechariah to come home and they go with him Malaika agagoja Zechariah atoke kwa Ekaru na atabepa lakini katika mkono wa ukulia wa kuhani katika mahali pa kutilia mahali pa pa kutoa dhabihu we cannot serve god without sacrifice hatuwezi mtumikia mungu bila kujitolea haleluya glory to god he made the right hand of incense the priest of sacrifice alipatana naye mahali pa kuhani katika mahali pa kutumika may the lord meet you at the priest of sacrifice mungu akutane naye katika mahali pa kutoa dhabihu Move out from the comfort zone to the place of sacrifice. Abia jirani yako toka mahali pa starehe na uende katika mahali pa kutumikia. Tayari the angel will not meet you at the place of comfort zone. Abia jirani yako malaika hatakutana na wewe katika mahali pako pa starehe. He will meet you at the place of prayer. Atakupata katika mahali pa maombi. Hallelujah. At the place of worship. Na mahali pa ibada. At the place of sacrifice. Apa katika mahali pa kutoa dhabihu. Let us understand this year. Wacha tuelewe huu mwaka. That those who serve the Lord. Ati ya kwamba wale watamtumikia Mungu. God is not Mungu sio ati si Mungu mwasia na haki. Ataona kate wa kazi yako ya upendo. Na atakutuza. Haleluya. Utukufu kwa Mungu. What did he say to Zechariah? Alimwambia Zechariah aje. Zechariah was troubled. And fear came upon him. Zakaria alitetemeka na akaigua na uoga. But the angel told him. Lakini malaika akamwambia. Do not be afraid Zakaria. Usiogope Zakaria. God is telling you today. Mungu anakuambia leo. Do not be afraid in your life. Usiogope katika maisha yako. As far as you are in his presence serving God. Ili hali uko katika uso wake ukimtumikia. Don't be afraid. Usiogope. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Be encouraged. Kuwa na nguvu. For your prayer is heard. Kwa kuwa maombi yako yamesikika. And the wife Elizabeth shall bear thee a son and he shall name his uh, his, his name John. Na bibi yako Elizabeth atampata mtoto na utamuita Yohana. I was about this manner of 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 message. I was talking about this manner of message. Nilikuwa nashangaa kwa aina hii ya ujumbe. He did not tell Zechariah. Hakumwambia Zechariah His, 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 his prayer was heard. Ya kwamba maombi yake yamesikika. We are continuing. Amen. Amen. Your prayer was heard. Hakumwambia ya kwamba maombi yako yamesikika. Your prayer was heard. He says your prayer is heard. Alimwambia maombi yako yamesikika. And your wife will bear a son. Na bibi yako atapata mtoto. I was wondering about it. Na nilikuwa nashangazwa na hiyo. Is that the time that Zechariah prayed for us? Je, huo ndio wakati Zakaria alikuwa na mwaba Mungu. Sasa amezeeka. But you saying your prayer is hard. Ah, Biblia inasema maombi yako yamesikika. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yet I can imagine Zakaria from the day he got married and if had one year, two year, three year there's no child, he began to pray. Na naona ya kwamba Zakaria alipooa akagoja mwaka mmoja miaka miwili akaanza kuomba. Your prayer is hard. Na Mungu anasema maombi yako yamesikika. God is timeless. Mungu hana wakati. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. The prayer you prayed 10 years ago is today before the presence of God. Obi ulilo prayed it today. Obi uliloba miaka 10 iliyopita iko mbele ya Mungu ni kama ulioba leo. God never forgets. Mungu asahau hata kidogo. Because his, your prayer is continually in his presence. Kwa sababu obi lako liko kila wakati katika uwepo wake. It's as if you are prayed it today. Ni kama unaomba siku ya leo. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Amen. He told Zechariah, it is your prayer is heard. Akamwambia Zechariah obi lako limesikika. And he says from today. Na akasema kutoka leo. Hallelujah. Amen. He said, 